Hi, my name is Wes Adams. I'm the instructor for this course. This is First Aid Responding to Emergencies. I've created this basic video introduction to show you how to navigate Blackboard, just in case you've never taken an online course before. Your page should look something like this. You see that I've got a list of classes here. If you're taking just one online course, you'll probably only have one of these. I'm going to use a class that I used in the spring as an example. Now this, of course, was a 16-week class, so each module that you see represents one week's worth of work. Now, if you're taking a summer class, it's a little different because we have to compress the course into five weeks. So we have to take a 16-week course, compress it down to five weeks, and so you would be doing you know, four or five modules a week so that you could get them all done before the end of the summer. So that's the main difference between summer and a long semester. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your course and it should take you directly to the home page. I'm going to open up a student view so that my page will look exactly like what a student would see. Now you'll notice here this is a course content menu so if, you, if it doesn't go to that click on that little tab that'll take you to the home page. This is the main page I want you working on. Everything that you need for the course can be found under this page. I designed it that way so you didn't have to look all over Blackboard to find your assignments. Everything is under these modules. So this would be a module here where you see introduction and syllabus. This where it says module one would be your very first complete module. I've only opened up two modules, but you'll see like 14 or 15 modules for a complete class. But right now, just for this example, I've only opened up two. So don't let that freak you out. If once these are opened up, you'll be able to scroll down and see all the modules. I don't mind you working ahead. So I open up all the modules. You can work ahead, just don't get behind. Because a lot of these require me to do a lot of reading and grading. And so when I get done grading them, I want to be done with it and move on to the next week or the next module. So that's the reason I don't want you to get behind. Because it's a lot more work for me. So you can work ahead, but again, don't get behind. That's my number one rule for this course. So let's open up the very first module. So this should be your very first step. If the home page doesn't come up, you click Course Content. Once that comes up, click on this very first introduction module. When you go into this, you'll click on the introduction, it'll pop up. So you can read that introduction. I'll also have this video introduction under there as well. I may have it in several different places so it'll be easy to find your very first uh, day. Here's another one where you've got to check your technology. Make sure that you've got all the required um, components. After you've checked your technology, you can go to the syllabus. And I'm not going to open up each one of these, but it will at least give you a good idea. So there's the syllabus. Read through that. Make sure you know it. Below the syllabus is a discussion about the syllabus. So if you've got any questions, that's where you post them so I can help answer the question. And uh, make sure you read everybody else's discussions because most likely somebody's already asked a question that you want to ask, especially if you're signing on late. So make sure you read them before you ask your question. And below that is another sil or a syllabus quiz. So that takes you to a little quiz about the syllabus. This just verifies that you've read the syllabus and you understand the major parts of it. So make sure you read that as, as well. But you'll notice here on the syllabus, it's also found over here in the left-hand corner. So you can go to it using one of these tabs. This discussion tab, if I clicked over here under discussions, I would see that very first discussion. Now, I've only opened up one discussion right now just to show you, but eventually you'll see a whole list of discussions for the whole semester. The main thing with discussions is you're going to have to wait for at least, if you're working ahead, another student to work ahead with you. So you may want to find a couple of people that work ahead because in a discussion, not only do you have to post your own discussion or post your own scenario, but you have to respond to somebody else's. So to complete this assignment, you've at least got to be two, have two people working in a discussion. So yes, you can work ahead, but you're going to have to find somebody to work ahead with you to complete the discussions for the module. So once I complete everything in this introduction, module. You'll notice down here you check your tech or you can go to adobe.com and download any links that you need. Here's some links to the SAC bookstore, free, a link to a free orientation. So if you've never taken 
a Blackboard course, you can go on to that. That should help out.